So there's been a game that I've had for quite a while, and I've basically played on and on. It's what now two and a half ish decades old. So I mean, if anybody's watched any like Seth videos, um, they'll know about Total Annihilation. I have it both in Steam on Steam and GOG. Um. Steam obviously like comes prepackaged with Proton and whatnot, but it is like for the longest while, the whole time I've been using Linux, it has run flawlessly under Wine. So I've actually used it to show off some of the cool oh full screen hacks with or some other couple of things with Lutris. So we're gonna open it up from there, but if you are looking for it it is available in steam it is available on gog it's gone on giveaway a couple different times and it does have like a oh fantasy spin-off total annihilation kingdoms uses kind of the same engine and then the studio that created it cave dog interactive kind of went under but it, it opens up pretty epically So the other thing is you might have to install some DirectX stuff, but like this screen is actually like you can very much ignore it and just skip through it. So when I was first like playing it on Linux, it was forever ago. And obviously things were different, but it ran flawlessly in line. And so the way I had to do it, this was before GOG kind of came to really be and had like its vast library of games and all, is I basically had to download a no CD crack and I ran it through a no CD crack, which my family had the CDs for the game and everything. But now you can get the whole commander pack in Steam or GOG with like all the missions and everything ready to go. So you've got like your two sides, the arm and core, like if you go listen to the intro, um, if we go back, you can go through the intro. What began as a conflict over the transfer of consciousness from flesh to machines escalated into a war which has decimated a million worlds. The core and the arm have all but exhausted the resources of a galaxy in their struggle for domination. Both sides now crippled beyond repair. The remnants of their armies continue to battle on ravaged planets, their hatred fueled by over 4,000 years of total war. This is a fight to the death. For each side, the only acceptable outcome is the complete elimination of the other.
So, pretty, pretty simple to grasp, I think. So, what was I thinking? So yeah, with it you get the both campaigns. So you have the arm, the core contingency, which is an expansion that adds a whole new campaign, and then you also have battle tactics, which kind of go have different scenarios on tactics and all, and then got an example one and a Krogoth encounter, and you basically got the same thing on both sides. So you've got battle tactics, core contingency, you can select your difficulty between easy, medium, and hard. You've got the skirmish mode, which, um, the reason why I have so many slots, AI slots, is because there's some somewhat hacky ways you can enable more slots this way. So, multi it does have a multiplayer, but I believe it, you have to run it through Game Ranger now. A lot of that stuff doesn't quite work if you want. It does support 1080p, so you can get it up to 1080, depending on how big your monitor is with some of the later fan patches, but yeah. So the other thing, too, is the soundtrack is composed by Jeremy Soule. You know, the same dude that did Oh Morrowind and Oh, what is it, Skyrim? I don't know why I couldn't think of it then. So let us... So if we go through, let's go with the arm one. And so we can go through the campaign. This will kind of get you a feel for like what the levels are like when you're playing through the campaign. It was near the end of the war. And after 4,000 years, the core empire stood on the brink of final victory over the arm rebellion. Armed forces throughout the galaxy were overwhelmed by the superior numbers and firepower of the ruthless core. Their bid for freedom nearly lost. The battered remnants of the Arm military clustered in the single star system which contained its home world, Empyreon. Empyreon too would have fallen were it not for the skill of the sole surviving Arm commander. A shrewd tactician and resourceful warrior, the commander took advantage of the system's relative isolation and was able to keep the enemy at bay. Armed troops weathered wave after wave of core attacks, and it seemed as though they would be able to do so indefinitely. The stalemate ended when a small core insertion team managed to slip through planetary defenses and establish the last of a chain of space-holding galactic gates which led directly to the surface of Imperion. A decoy engagement was staged at the Arm outpost on the outer planet of Calibran in order to lure the commander away from Imperion, leaving the planet virtually defenseless. The invasion began. So you get most of your story through these like opening briefings and the narration in them. You do get your like objectives here, but for the most part it kind of follows after a bit it follows the same. Uh that's weird. Never had it do that before. Um, I think we are going to... Um, I don't know why that happened. Give me a second. Okay, we'll just see and try and run it through Steam. This should hopefully work okay. I've run you through Steam before, so you shouldn't have much of a problem. So just hit space to skip, single options let me make sure my stuff has popped up all the way new campaign start start 
Well, that's interesting. I think I know what's up. Let me... So, so this is... Yeah. I will tweak around with things and get it figured out. Okay. So I just enabled Wine Desktop to get it to work. So it should... It, it'll be kind of tiny up in the top corner, but yeah. It'll be fine. So this game broke, like, a lot of oh, molds at the time in like late 90s around RTS so you don't quite have the same squad limit that you do and you do have the ability to basically go and select every like unit across the map if you really feel like it so you could just like go from the top corner of the map and go drag all the way down across it to get all the units selected And you'll notice that they also, like, move and shoot, too. Um, any enemies in their way on the way to their objective. So. Th there's not this whole, like, attack move deal. It just basically does it automatically. So there's the dum 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 that tells you the mission is over. So yeah, it'll show up in the top corner here with the way I have it configured to run the game. So. Extra tiny. So we can go on to the next mission. Although they had managed to free the captured gate and return their commander to Imperion, armed troops continued to weather attacks by core forces in increasing numbers. It became apparent that the core had managed to construct a K-Bot lab somewhere on Imperion itself and was building an army as fast as it could. So again, you get most of the lore through here. So... Th those mission briefings tell you most of the lore, and then you can... So building's pretty simplistic, but again, you don't really have a queue limit either, and your economy basically auto-mines. So... It was a very, like, groundbreaking RTS at the time. Not a lot of RTSs did this kind of a thing. So yeah, like I said, you could go... Come on, guys, get out of the way. Don't don't move. Don't move. Doggone it. So here's so issuing orders. Hold fire. Return fire. Fire at will. Roam. Hold position. So you've got different oh positions that you can use and oh you can select basically like i said every unit all at the same time so you could like self-destruct and lose the game with all of your units at the same time so if we go in so we build our one of our unit factories do 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 and then if we want to go double check our objectives we can go into briefing here Destroy the K-Bot lab, blah, blah, blah. Okay. That requires us to do this one thing with the blah, 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 blah. And uh, the terrain is actually three-dimensional too, not like this pseudo you've got a percentage. It actually takes real physics into account.
Yep, see, dead. I need to build more solar panels. Yes, they are very green in this game too, as you can tell. Oh, I've got the gaming layer up, darn. Good thing that finished before I accidentally knocked it out. So you do have construction units as well. So here are our combat units. They're going to kind of make up the majority of our stuff. Bet you I could get away with just running. Let's see, we've got rocket boys. So to queue up more than one at a time, we hold shift and it'll queue up five at a time. So there should be some deposits over here that I can take advantage of. Come on, go kill it. Are you really? Are you dumb? Oh, thank you. You can attack things. That's cool. So the commander does like slowly auto heal. So it's not like his damage is going to be permanent. And he does have a special move called the D-Gun, which is basically like super destroyer gun. It does take a lot of energy, though. <laughs> like 500 per shot. So if you don't have a good energy economy, yeah. I thought there was another metal deposit over here. So yeah, orders tab will basically give you what you need. And then the build tab for those units that can build things. And I could like reclaim and pick up all these trees and whatnot for resources, but I don't think I really need to. Okay, um believe the so what we do is we choke point off with laser towers those two spots yeah we're still low on energy so it's gonna be like really picky about it na, na, na. and we can't build another construction K-Bot in order to provide us with more, so yeah. Oh, look, he's dead. How'd that happen? So we can, like, shift Q commands, including move as well, just like most other RTSs. Oh, and as you probably saw, um, I hit M, which is a hotkey for move, in order to set a rally point from the factories to move them over here. So basically, yeah, move and patrol will basically give orders to units. 
straight out of the factory whenever you do that. So you can have units set on patrolling oh, movements in order to bait right from the get-go without having to think about it, really. I might just pump you right in there. So yeah, we're starting to build our our hammers, which are artillery cable robots. And basically they just toss big old shells at um, the enemies, which do kind of massive damage all at once. So once the commander finishes up here, it should easily let us recover some metal without having to really think about it. I mean, technically, it, the objective is to destroy the K-Bot lab, but I should be able to walk in and capture it if I really feel like it, too. <laughs> Walk over and he dies immediately. I can't remember if there's anything up in the top corner there. So yeah, you can see they basically get demolished straight away. And then the soundtrack changes because we're actually doing something. So that there was a radar basically gives them insight into what's going on. Pretty simple, I think. Oh my goodness! So you can see how the terrain can affect, like, how well we can hit units, or buildings even, on the top of things. So, like, the terrain can literally get in the way of us actually killing something. And other units, of course, too, because... Physics. And the tree can get in our way too, because physics. And our own units can get in the way, and wreckage can get in the way, because physics. So what I can do, oh, never mind. I'm not doing it just yet. Go to the south and take out the K-Bot lab. Okay. Gonna do up some of you, you know, just for kicks. Oh my goodness, making short work of my boy. They immediately put it all away. Okay, we're done. Uh, orders. Where's our capture? There. I want to, you know, take it for myself. So we're going to walk in here.
So watch what happens when we capture it. It's gonna change colors on us, cause that's what it does. Haha, <laughs> but it still counts, cause it's destroyed. And we can build their units, more importantly. So yeah. Um, yeah, it had a lot of cool stuff in it. Main menu, exit. Um, but yeah, that's Total Annihilation. Again, it had a fantasy spinoff, basically, that had a lot of cool things. Seth does a whole review video about it, Seth Scenetech. So yeah, maybe I'll do a video showing that off, who knows. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Algorithm really seems to like that, and it actually helps it get directly out to more people. And you can even join the chat and interact when I'm not online or what have you in Discord, Gilded, XMPP, and check out my, my streaming stuff. Links are all in the description places, and I will see you guys later.